Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. one from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand, he's very quick, he's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striker's realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy, only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, big punch land. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, big left. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So just over 20 total strikes. You found the mark for Conor McGregor. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Connects with a right. And he landed the right hand there. Right hook to the head block. Oh, big elbow. Lands with a right hand. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, Superman punch! Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and always brings his hand right back to his face. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Connor. Nice one, two there. Effective punch there by McGregor. Single collar tie now. Another shot lands upstairs. Just missed with the left there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Under a minute now to go in the round. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Good stick. that left hand. Flush right hand is true. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Superman punch now. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, just missed on the overhand left. That might have done some damage. Again, they will clinch. Nice strike. Oh! What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Just a slip there. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them 
are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, the proud Ireland native Conor McGregor seems to have found his range early here tonight. It's amazing what he has done, not just for the sport of mixed martial arts, but for the profile of Ireland in the UFC. History is going to look back fondly on all of the contributions Conor McGregor has made to his sport and to his country. Nice elbow. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Beautiful straight counter. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on him. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut. He just puts his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split showing his opponent that he has no mercy. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Throws the right hand there. Huge blocks there. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Misses with that punch. found the target. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping every time. Blocks the shot. Big call from Westland. Now he gets back to range. with that right hand. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, he slipped well there. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off this back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. McGregor's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but... That is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Third round underway. Nice stupid punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Superman punch land! He had a hole. All left hook to the head, it's blocked. And they set. in a great performance by this young man. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 36 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.